Ah, okay. But, uh, what, 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 I think this is stream three. It's, it feels like I've been doing it longer. I think this is stream three, though. Uh, which is a Thursday today. New Year's Eve. Wonderful. All right, let me make the announcement on my server again. Okay. Yeah, I can't listen to music. Because if I listen to music, then again, I'm just going to like not talk because already I'm finding myself just sitting and listening to music. I can't do that. Even if you guys can't hear it, I can't. It won't work. All right. I have a little bit of food here. I'm just like raspberries and stuff to snack on because I'm hungry. And I only have, have been awake for like three hours. I would have started at like 2 or 2.30 for me, but it's 3 for me now because I just needed time to wake up. But you should be okay now. I don't, I don't think too many people are going to join today because we've already had a few. Uh, I'm streaming on the art instead of the... Uh, the VR chat one because I don't know. I thought I'd try doing the art instead. I don't think art's going to work out very well though because it's just a lot of people doing it and I'm just going to get buried down at the bottom. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I think I'll probably switch back to the VR chat one because this is going to be for VR chat. There's nothing wrong with me being over there as well in modeling. And I think we'll get more relevant people because there's, I think there's a lot more people who would find me through the VR chat tag, game tag, rather than just the art, general art tab. Because I don't I don't I don't really care about the expectations for that. I don't know. Uh so it's uh I wanna get it ready quick. Get it all up and get going. A lot busy, um, a lot busy, yeah, a lot are busy. A lot of people uh, are busy because of New Year's, so I probably shouldn't stream today, but maybe this is a good time for me to get all the, the boring stuff out of the way, and then anyone who's wanting to watch on uh, YouTube after this, uh, sometime in a new year, will, uh, you know, will actually come and, and watch it. So, either way, four minutes, 20 seconds in, let's go. Okay. Right now, we just got a husk of a person. Very terrifying. But that's okay. Because they all look like that, you know? Let me move my keyboard closer. And put the raspberries behind. Alright. So, let's look at our little face reference we're kind of going for roughly here. Um, make sure our view is okay. Yeah, it is. Okay. So right now, make sure it's all centered up. It's actually not even centered. There we go. So the, the face is looking a little narrow. Uh, we can just fix that here, I guess. 
but so far it's been pretty good. I made some minor adjustments uh, before I started because there's a couple things I wasn't sure about that I wanted to actually go and and go in and check, you know. Uh, and so got those out of the way and got it done. And uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm feeling a lot more confident now in in what we got. Uh, sometimes it's it's good to take take like a step back, you know, and just look at it and be like, hmm, is this a good idea? Should I be doing this? I don't know. I believe anime heads also are wider at the top, you know, like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's actually check out the eyes as well. The eyes are, uh, got a little messed up from when I was adjusting it earlier. So let's fix that up. He's got pretty big eyes. Nice. Start doing the head as well now here, adding a couple loops. Actually, before we do that, we we'll probably just start off by finishing the, uh, side here actually we want this to be a lot more uh like like actually curved because the ear should be somewhere like here I'm just doing like a rough here, there, yes. Just a weird circle, pretty much. Oh, I'm making it worse. I should just stop. Okay. Rotate it slightly, come down more actually. Something around there, we'll leave it. We'll, look. we'll actually look, actually hold on, the reference might have. Oh no wait, it's front. I wonder if it shows the actual air placement in the front or not. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we can see it's actually up a little more like that. Cool, that's all we needed. A back and forth placement, I don't know. Seems about right there. We could probably bring it up a little bit because you see my ear, if we go down from my ear, it's near the front of the neck, so yeah, I like that. Good. Connect these in. Wonderful. Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, it's pretty self-explanatory what you got to do. You just kind of do the same thing as you did at the forehead. Go around here and start placing, you know, bevel it a little bit, 
keep placing. Oh wait, let me turn on screencast keys. Um, you know, just make that little wireframe. Then you know, just just keep following the shape. It's it's pretty simple. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up another Blender window, and just copy uh, another back head mesh that I made previously because it's just annoying having to do it over again. I really don't want to. <laughs> Okay, let me copy. Actually, why not just copy all of it? Yeah. Okay. We'll paste this in once I get it copied. Awesome. Haha, <laughs> the, the ears on this model I didn't even attach. I guess it's fine, you don't really need them to be. Especially if they're hidden. Alright, let me separate this out. I'm going to remove all of the vertex groups and everything. Because I hate it when you caught when you paste something into your project, but then it's all messed up. Uh, not messed up, but it imports like, all these extra materials and gunk. There. So if I paste this in, this is what I had previously. So you can see right here, literally all I did was I merged. I made some triangles in. I just merged around the back. So that's awesome. Very useful. It's gonna fit pretty close as well to what we need. I'll just do that and we can pull it out. Obviously the head was much smaller on my other model. Or, uh, well, I think the neck was just bigger. Yeah, the neck was bigger and we did something like that. Yeah, nice, okay, well, we'll do that. I'll merge this in with that and I'll delete a lot of this here since we don't need it. This is this is good example of reusing what you already have to make your work, life much easier. Let's actually delete those seams as well. So why the heck would I go and redo something I've already done? No reason to, unless I want to practice it, of course, which is a uh, very good, viable reason. But if I don't need to practice it, which I don't feel I do, no reason. Wait, what, what's going on here? There's something weird. Maybe? Maybe not. Imagining it. Oh, it was mirrored. Forgot. Got a little bump in her head, it's fine. It's fine. Got relief sticks out in the back. Don't think we want that.
awesome. Now we can take what we have here and just pull it in a bit. Connect them up. I think these can just merge in. This can be a separate space that goes off. Same with this. Oh, let's get rid of proportional. This can, oh wait, we got this to take care of. Hmm, so we can, I might do the disconnected ear for now again, because honestly, it kind of worked out last time. I'll disconnect it for now. Now the ear is, I think, disconnected. Yeah, it is, okay. If it, why? You have a bunch of faces selected, it'll like detach them from everything else, which is something I learned recently, which is nice. Very nice. Here we can make wide. Actually, we should we should make one before this mark here. I think maybe I don't know because we could do this and there would be a try, but tries aren't always a big deal. Could pull these up that quad 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 quad. That's really ugly, but we can smooth it out a bit. I don't like that. I feel like I'd rather have tries so we could have that actual edge there. That is really bad. I feel like I should smooth this all out, then fix it again. a little better and the whole head is going to have to be smooth for obvious reasons let's just do that the ear does not so i'm deselect that so smooth smooth back smooth back smooth back that's much better The head is uh, very, the forehead is very low poly. We will fix that. Bye. How will we fix that? Hmm. There's a lot of vertices going up. I can bevel this just because of the fact that there's already a bevel. That's nice. That's better. You there, you there. Connect all these in. We could use another. But let's make some subdivisions here to cancel those loops. So we need two there, two there, four there, gee. Okay, that's fine because I think what we can do is just center, 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 center. And we deal with all of these. And then merge up here, center. 
Oh no, actually center here. For that one. And then center that, center that, center that. That works. It's kind of messy, but I mean, it is the forehead. It doesn't really matter uh, too much. You smooth it and then pull it back out. Move it over here a bit. Just need some smoothing down here. Side view is looking a little strange. Looking better now. Hello, happy new year. Nice to see you. Yeah, I, I'm just usually have way more people in the stream. I'm assuming it's it's because it's New Year's and people are all busy going about their days, which kind of I'm like, hmm, maybe I should be doing something for New Year's instead of sitting here. But yeah, what do you do? What can you do? Not much. Not much. It's all right. How are you doing? How's your New Year's? Or, or how how will how will it be? I don't know. I guess I don't know where you are in the world. <laughs> Germany. Ah, yes. I think, wait, Germany, that's 10 hours ahead of me. It's three for me, which means that it is three, six, nine, math. Yes, it is. Yeah, an hour ago, yep. That is correct. Awesome. Well, happy new year to you. It is three. It is 3 p.m. for me, so I still got a while. It always kind of sucks around New Year's because I'm literally almost almost always the last one to have it. You're watching with this audio off while you're playing a card game. <laughs> nice. I'm glad a few of you are here now. It makes me feel better. But I should have known that people would be busy, of course. So it probably won't be a long stream today. Um, I I just want to finish like the block out, the main block out of the head, which the head is still big, and looks kind of weird, which we're, we're gonna fix. But it doesn't look as weird once you get more stuff onto it as well. I, I literally don't think I have anything going on for New Year's at all. Uh, it's mostly, I think, I, I think I can like go watch some fireworks with like some of my family, but honestly, I, I don't really want to watch fireworks. Because, <laughs> you know, then they're done that, like, wait, how old am I? 20, 20 times, almost 21 times. Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna figure out what I want to do here. I always forget how old I am. I always think I'm older and then sometimes I think I'm younger. Someday I'm just gonna forget it entirely and I'll be happy honestly and when that day comes I don't have to worry about it. Just looked out of the door raised our glasses to the neighbors and went back inside. <laughs> yep. I it, it's really it's, it, it is really a, like an anticlimactic like like holiday. It, it's technically a holiday, but I mean, it's a, it's like more of a drinking holiday than anything. Anyone I know who like full on celebrates New Year's is always it, it's always about drinking. Like always. Uh and if it isn't, then it's very few and far between. Which I mean, hey, you know, after this year, sure, 
drink all you want for a day, I guess. Get it over with. Try to do try to restart. I don't know. I never understood the New Year's resolution thing. Because if you're gonna do a resolution, why would you wait and do it on New Year's instead of just, you know, doing it when you feel like you should have done it or need to do it. Hmm. So the ear Hmm. I have, I have an issue here. So I think the ear oh no, the ear should just come forward more, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's all it was. Never mind. Crisis averted for now. This doesn't look right down here, though. I need to figure out what I'm doing. I'll look at that later. This is too far out. This needs to come in. The head's a little tall still, but I, th I think I'll leave it for now. Is the ear... I, th I think the ear was correct. I think it was. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll look at it then. We'll look at it. Right behind where the jawline comes up. Right behind... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so technically the jawline is this loop, which is what I was thinking. So it connects in right there. I mean, technically, I think the ear just needs to be rotated a bit. But we'll we'll look at it more later. Let's see. So if we look, I have like a little bit of a, of a reference here. Oh, it should also be down more. There we go. I think that'll make it look better. Again, we'll get to it when it actually comes point. For now, we can just... Oh, oh God. Oh, don't do that. I just want to get something in um, for the stream, like kind of get it all completed. We should also look at the body again shortly. But I'm ready to move on. Yes, I'm not character modeler. I never knew that stuff. Get the stuff. Yeah, I I don't get it right, and I've been doing it for like over two years now. I think. Uh it's just one of those things where you always just need to look at references because you're not really gonna remember it unless it's like your job, and even then, probably not. I don't know. I guess that's what I feel like. The head's really low poly. The forehead is very low poly, actually. Uh, uh, I'll probably f add another loop, like here, probably. Yeah, that looks good. Much better looking. We'll lower this a bit in the back. To, uh relieve some of the tension. Well, we'll call it good for now for the face. We can adjust it more later. Uh, let's look at the body again. I think, um, so, did you just bevel loop cut? Yes, I did. Because instead of, so, the reason I, I bevel instead of just adding a loop cut, so if you add a loop cut, right, so if I want there to be one like right here on this face instead of just adding one uh if instead you actually bevel it not only will you can I like center it better but so say if i have so as, as an extreme example if you do like this and then you add a loop cut is this going to be flat you know it's going to be inserted in the face but if i actually bevel it it's going to like you know kind of adjust for both of them instead of just one so I, I like beveling instead because it can kind of like keep that smoothness going if it's more rounded. And so the boobs, the, she's, she's going to have a shirt on. So her boobs are going to be pulled in, right? So they're not going to be like they're, they're free falling, right? You know, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm going to also, these need to be like not in the middle. I think I need to disable this, go in here, and then really just have them overlap a bit. Because, yeah, I think that's, that's better. A bit of view and pull these out as well.
for now. But that's that's not too bad. That's that's fine for now. Uh, when we do clothing, I think we'll get a better idea of what we <clears throat> exactly want. On why is my vo my voice is going away again? Not already. No. We're going to enable clipping so we can actually get into the center. There we go. Do I do this as a hobby or a job? Oh, I just do this as a as a hobby. Um, I'm a I'm an electro engineer actually. I'm graduating next spring or summer ish, but I just do it as a hobby, like when I'm on break or whatever. Uh, I had a couple of friends who did it, um, and I was interested, and I've always wanted to learn how to do it. So they kind of taught me the very basics, and I just kind of kept learning on, on my own from there. What's, uh, what, what's got you interested in it, since you're here watching? The shoulder is like slanted back. Not too bad there. We can work with that. You're studying animation. Oh, that's cool. I've always wanted to learn how to animate. Uh, I never, I, I've never taken the time yet to do it. But since I've uh, gotten into 3D character modeling, I've been doing it for a little while. I'm, I'm making like decent ones now. I, I feel like so it'd be fun to actually animate them and and, and do that. But I again, I not again, but I have so many interests to be honest that I never can do them all or try them all out. But I can do some because I've always wanted to do animation but I don't really know how to animate I made a like a motion capture system for using my my VR system because there's like extra trackers you can get for like your body that can track your legs and feet and hips and stuff and I, I, I did that so I have like I have like like not too terrible motion capture if I ever want it that's kind of fun also, the leg seems really short. There we go. That's better. And the hips are looking very odd, so we'll, we'll fix that as well here. Got really big hips, actually, is the issue. They're way too big. And she's supposed to be a bit curvy, but I don't think that much. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't know that. So when you say studying animation, that doesn't mean that it's like character animation or that kind of stuff. Well, I, I, I think 
you are yeah you're you're doing animation but it's not the type of animation that people first think of okay yeah you're doing general animation you're you're learning how to animate just in general and and keep things animated or or whatever yeah that's that's really cool sounds very interesting Well, I, I, I wish you good luck on that. How far are you in? Did you just start? Or have you, uh, have you been doing it for a little while now? University is very open, so you're a student, you can decide what you want to learn and focus at that. That is awesome. Especially for like an arts related kind of thing. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. So you don't need to like be forced to study something you're really not going to want to do ever. That's awesome. I, I was very tempted to go to school for, uh, for like 3D and stuff, but I already started before I got into 3D at my engineering. So I'm just kind of finishing that up, but I don't know. I don't, I'm not committed to it. So I can kind of do whatever when I'm done. That's very cool. Is there something specific you want to get into? Or are you just interested in it in general? You want to find something to do in it? Oh, procedural modeling in Houdini. Oh, I love Houdini. <laughs> I, uh, I've, messed, I've been messing around with Houdini, uh, a little bit this year and it, it's so fun. It's definitely, I think it's, I think that's a really good idea to get into that, uh, especially for like the future. If you want to get like a proper, like professional job and all that as well, cause that's going to be super handy. A lot of people are going to be wanting people who know how to do that. I think it's a very, uh, Good idea. Of course, getting into what you like, what earns money is in everything, but if they line up, that's very nice, you know? Hmm, I'm having trouble here getting the legs to kind of uh, not look weird. I might have to look at some different references and stuff for this. Well, I think I, I know my issue right now, actually. Hold on, I know it. I know exactly what's wrong. This is not... The main loop. If I do this, connect that in, connect that in. We'll fix this triangle later. That'll let me get a better deformation kind of. Thing, I don't know, going. 
But yeah, Houdini, that's... I'm, I'm jealous. I, I, I'd love to learn Houdini like that. Very cool. Oh, not vertices, edges. Edges, edges, there we go. I don't know what I did to the, like the middle here, but it's, oh, there we go. Oh, I just, I just kind of fixed it, I think. Good enough. Could sharpen this. At the 180, so we don't have to worry about any of the extra parts being sharpened off. Yeah, that's looking okay. You don't n no longer need to be so high up. You come down, turn off clipping. And with you. Honestly, I think we can have this edge connect in here. Oh, wait, no, we can't, can we? Because that means that will not be a triangle. All these will not be a triangle. Do that. I'm just trying to get rid of this. I don't know what the best way of doing that is. I mean, technically, we could just do that. But I feel like that's cheating, or that's not proper. But if it works, proper enough, I guess. You know? You know? Yeah. I really don't like that. Well, you know what? It looks okay here. We're going to just do that. We'll, we'll get back to it later. You don't. Yeah, there's a pole there and I'm like, I'm trying to do a pole, but there's like not a good way to do a pole there. And I, I'll just leave a try there. Um, I subdivision will technically take care of it, right? Because if we go into wireframe, uh, I, it won't be a try there. But having this ugly mess is, is not that great. It won't really matter, honestly, if we leave it like that. But, you know, I want it to be right if I can. Sometimes, honestly, I'll, like, I'll have an issue like that. I'll walk away and I'll come back. And then I'll be like, oh, boop, 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 done. Uh... So I, I don't like to sit on things too much because that'll end up happening later and then I'll feel bad for spending so much time earlier on it. <laughs> and this is all sticking out too much there, I think. Oh yeah, I was gonna do this earlier. I have some images I want to throw in here as and use as like rough reference. Uh, go forward, go to my reference folder and go to, I have like a nice hips kind of reference and a leg reference. So here's my leg ref, oh my goodness, that is so massive. Scale that down. 
Keeping the flow is important. Yes. Definitely. I, I wish more people realized that because they'll sit and nitpick for like hours over one thing. I'm like, no, don't do that because you're going to just hate what you're doing. So this is nice. I found this. I, I don't remember where I got it, but this is useful. Um, of course, my hips are, uh, my waist is smaller, but this area is, 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 is still correct. Oh, no, I'm still on view. We don't want that. Okay, so an off clipping. The clipping is off. I'm going to pull this off to the side here. This is, what are you doing? Why do you like that? Oh, with that. And then right here, this technically like a uh, a thing. I don't know. I'm not an I'm I'm not an autonomous. What do you call it? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, okay. Um, we're going to just. I it's anime. We don't really need much, but I want to do a little bit if I can. And then technically, if we like squeeze the image, squeeze, and then like yeah, I don't know. That's that's fine fine down here legs oh yeah I, this is something i've been wanting to try out so like technically knees always kind of curve in slightly oh god like that then that's why th the outside part of the leg sticks out more like that I probably need another loop here, but I'll add that later. That's nice. And then we have this leg reference as well. Speaking of which, which I like um, as a rough idea of what it should be here. So if we like line it up kind of how it should, I, I think that's a little exaggerated. I don't think we want that, that much of a curve. But as a general idea, we can see that, um, well, besides the hips sticking out a lot, which is kind of interesting, uh, that sticks out, that part of the knee, and this curves in. This is straight, but it's straight on an angle. Because, yeah, we could do like that, and then this could stick out a bit. Actually, in the back, technically, it sticks out, so let's grab those two in the back. I don't know if that's actually going to work, but I don't know. Try new things. Maybe we'll get something that looks nice. I think that's looking okay. We can go with that. We can go with that. And also, right here, you can see on the leg, this actually sticks out. I want to try that. I want to see, because this does look flat. Wait, where, where did it stick out actually on the leg? Yeah, because right where the crotch is, like the hip line, is like technically where it should stick out the most. I guess right here would be correct in pulling out. Yeah, uh, I, I, that's fine. I'll do that. I still don't like the side here. I feel like the leg sticks out way too much. That's better. I'll have to look at some reference for that as well later. Um, this is looking okay though. We can do the back, like the shoulder blades. I think I have a reference for that. Let me see. That I liked. <laughs> it's it's nice because I don't need to get everything perfect, or at least it should be accurate, but it shouldn't be detailed. So I'll do a lot of that, like texturing and stuff. So, I go and find an image that is suitable to what I need for shoulders, shoulder blades. I don't really see any actually that I have. There's one here that's pretty loose though. I have this one reference sheet with like these muscles, 
And it's really cool. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is great. Let me put this in so we can all see it. I really like this. So I'm going to go into edit mode back here. And then I like this. So this is, um, like you've seen the back where they have the back right, right there. You can see how that actually would work. So it, it curve around. Actually, my shoulders are a little, a little, uh, lacking. Let me pull those up a bit. Um, it wraps in, it's like a wing, then it kind of comes back. So, so this is the line that we need right here. Yeah, so like it comes from the shoulder, it curves like that up higher, though. So, like that is what we need, roughly ish. Oh, god. So, what I'd like to do in this case is grab my knife tool. And boop, 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 boop. I guess. Well, boop there as well. Although we don't really need that last one. I don't know. The wireframe is whipping me out. There we go. Much better. So we can just merge that with like, merge these two with that. Do that, dissolve, dissolve. Then these should come out. Uh, maybe this one as well, come out and down. I don't want to pull them too much out because technically I already made the geometry with that in mind. So I should probably pull them in instead of out. Actually, you need to go. Wonderful. You can do that, that's fine. And then right here. I mean, there is a quad here. I could I could I could take it. Could I take that. Let's go into like a nice matte cap. It's easy to see. I think honestly, having like a lower profile ones kind of looks nice. Not too stand out. We can do that. I'm just gonna pull this one in a bit, call it good. Okay. We, and then, just fix up the geometry. It's very messy after a while when you start moving everything around a bunch. This is, I, I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with everything now uh, that's going. I was really kind of scared because uh, sometimes it takes a while for, uh, you know, to get that right kind of look and feel in. But I'm, I'm doing okay. Again, it helped that I went and actually looked at some references for what it should look like. OK. 
Okay. Oh, we do have a triangle here. I'll leave it. Not a big, not a big deal. Still looks nice. And we have one up there. Let's add a little bit to the arms because the arms are looking a little lacking, I think. Yeah. We can use our loop tools to make sure they're all circular enough. Actually, this could come out. I feel like everything's too far back, like the actual arm itself. But that doesn't match this. I don't know. Maybe the shoulder is too far, like leaning back issue. Have you tried out sculpting? Uh, so, <laughs> yes, I have tried out sculpting. I have like a sculpting monitor tablet. Oh, not tablet, a you know, thing that I bought for it. Um, and also like texturing and drawing and stuff. But I'm not an artist. I do not consider myself one uh, in, in, in the sense of, you know, what would usually come with that because I cannot sculpt to save my life. It is very hard for me. Uh, sculpting is really nice in modeling and rendering and stuff. Uh, everything I make is actually for, like, it's, it's going to be game ready anyways. So I usually try to keep the poly count low and everything. If I want to do just renders and poses and stances or whatever, I'd, I'd lean more towards sculpting. Uh, but especially with simple stuff like this, I'm glad that I can model it <laughs> and not have to worry about it. But yeah, I've tried sculpting. I haven't given it a fair shot though. I should learn. Uh, I do a little bit of sculpting here and there, but not like full characters. I, I don't sculpt them. I'm an engineer uh, to, to my death, which means that I have very little artistic sense when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I, I feel like that that works against me. Although it could be a, a mental thing. It could just be a head thing. Uh, I don't know. Probably is. Make a big bigger deal than it needs to be. The nose is looking weird. I gotta fix the nose. I, I don't, it doesn't look right. What can I do to fix the nose? I don't like how pointy it is. I want a less pointy nose. I think I need to add another loop or, or something for that. Actually, what I could do, watch this. Big brain. All quads. That's right. I always feel so cool when I can do that. <laughs> Even though it's it's very easy, I'm like, yes, yes, of course, that's what you do. I like the rounded nose, that looks nice. I would not consider myself an artist as well on the technical side. That makes sense, actually, since you're you're doing the, all the Houdini procedural, whatever. Uh, I think we we would probably uh, very similar minded in that respect. But yeah, yeah, I don't like it either. Of course. Uh, what can I do here? <laughs> I could just accept the try. I'm gonna accept the try. We're we're close to done. I could accept the try. 
I can accept it. Yes, I feel comfortable accepting the try. Aircraft and space technology. Oh yeah. Wow, we're very similar. I, I was very interested in that for a long time as well. I uh I am doing a I'm doing electrical engineering specifically for the computer engineering aspect. Um because uh I think almost four years ago now I uh got into using VR stuff and using and through VR stuff I, I realized that like that is exactly what I want to get into uh, because it's super neat and it is very it's very future proof. It is definitely going to want to get bigger and more important in the future. So that's why I wanted to get into. So now that I'm almost done, I'm going to start. I want to try to get into some uh, hardware development companies that work with VR stuff. Uh, I'm 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 teaching myself like programming on the side, uh, like C. Sharp C plus uh, plus a little bit of Java. I I don't think Java is that important, but uh, just stuff just to get myself used to it. So that's why I got actually into three D modeling as well because I got into a game called VR Chat that um that has like three D avatars and stuff. I'm like, oh, I've always wanted to learn how to three D model. I can make them and then use them myself, and that's how I got here. Where I don't know why I do it, but I do it, and it, it's it's fun. Well, I, I actually that's not true. I do make some money off of it by selling them on like marketplaces. So I also do that for like side money, but that's not my 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 focus, not my drive. I do it because I enjoy it. Although I think next I'm making a robot. I'm sick of making anime. I am ready. It's been a while since I've made one. I think you would like it. You would appreciate good a robot, wouldn't you? I could see that. <laughs> now I just, I just remembered about the the newest Boston Dynamics video that had the um the the robots dancing to that one song. I forgot what it was, but that was that was pretty amazing. I thought it was CG the first time I watched it. I rewatched it and realized it's it's not. <laughs> it's had like a really good like cinematic camera going and stuff. So crazy. From a hard surface dude. Yes, that's what I originally wanted it to be, and then. But I also like anime, so that kind of cursed me to also make anime models at the same time. But I, I love Hard Surface. Um, I, I'd love to do more of that as well. I could totally see myself, like once I get better at Hard Surface, only doing that. Uh, but I'm still here doing this, so I don't know. So I guess after this model, if I still have time before my semester starts, I'll be also doing some Hard Surface next. Hard surface is easier, but it's also harder. I don't really know how to explain it, but I think you probably understand. Like, uh, it's, I don't know. Like my first models were like half hard surface, right? They're like astronauts and stuff or, or related because I didn't have to make a face. I would make a helmet, like a cool helmet instead. And then uh, I don't know, like give them like little gadgets and stuff. If I would have focused on hard surface, I think I would be a lot better <laughs> in general. Like I'd, I would, would make more progress because learning anime stuff and in return, like anatomy and all that kind of stuff, which I still am not very good at, has taken a long time for me. I probably could have progressed quite far if I wasn't doing it and focused on something else like hard surface. But whatever. I like them both. They're good.
we're gonna put a sharp here. There we go. I'm gonna do this actually as well. Add a quad. I think we need a little more down there. I could totally do this now as well, couldn't I? Fill this in. Up. Down. Bam. Look at that. All quads again. Very nice. Well, that's probably too much now. Something like that, it's fine. Okay. I just do some retopology of sculpted characters once in a while. Yeah. I think if you've gone to hard surface, you know, it's like detail hard surface especially. Uh, that works out pretty well because it's hard to like concept things. It's super easy to concept things with sculpting right and it's even concept from cool hard surface ideas and then quickly just kind of sculpt them out and then then you just retop over and be done i have people in your year uh in my year that do sculpting a lot and so they do the sculpt and i do the finishing oh that's cool yeah, that's a great idea that's like perfect dream come true I would totally do that if I had like sculpting friends who wanted, who didn't want to retop their own stuff or, or didn't really want to learn. Hmm. I probably do actually. Probably just I'll talk to them about it. I don't know. Okay. Well, awesome. We have made some great progress. How long have I been streaming? Oh, look, I've been streaming over an hour. I was really concerned about getting over an hour. Because there wasn't anyone uh, initially here. They were all busy. Uh, I, I've been really surprised, actually. Um, the past two other times I've been streaming, which I haven't streamed, like, ever in, like, such a long time. Uh, I've had, like, 9 to 12 people, which has been awesome. Made me feel like it's really motivated me to keep doing it. <laughs> and then today I'm like, oh, man. Yeah, like, everyone's busy now. But that's not a good reason not to stream, though. Because I'm still putting these up on my YouTube channel, so uh, people there will still want to watch it, if anything. Because I know there's some watchers on there that would do it. Okay. No, I don't want to... I was going to crease that, but the crease does not look good. I, I think what I'm going to do is uh, do a little transition... For the oh god, for here, what I'm gonna do is There, there, there. You connect this in with the arm. You find the best way of doing it. I'll do that for now, which is not correct. Da, 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 da. Something like that, sure, why not? Uh, that's not pretty, but it is functional. 
And I prefer functional over pretty, so we will go with that for now. Probably clean up later, like I always do. Actually, I want to bevel this, because that would give me an opportunity to do that and that, and actually clean this up a bit. So that works out pretty well. And we have another, I, should I do another loop here? Maybe. Uh, well, usually it connects in here, but also it will uh, keep going up like this. Actually, that would probably be better there. Because again, teardrop shape, right? So. Honestly, it's fine. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. I'd like to like put a quad here, but then that opens up triangles there, which actually, hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this. Big brain coming in. I'm going to do this, that, connect these in together here, pull this down, uh, pull this, here? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Look at that. Okay. Should I increase all that? No, oh, that looks weird. GG. I have mastered modeling give me my trophy please or topology let's say topology not really because mine sucks well no that's not true it does not suck because it works topology is important because it needs you know you need good deformation if you get deformation with whatever topology you get then it works and it's good topology so my topology is good because i don't have problems with that Yes. Not what people say. It's it's what it is. I technically that that technically works. I don't really like that, but no, we're not we're not doing that. I changed my mind. <laughs> That would work, and then that would work. That's better. That is better. Oh wait, this. Yeah, there. That's better. That's nice. Then if we look at the rough shape, they are squeezed in, so we gotta keep that into account. Ah, uh, again, we make the shirt. Uh, I think that's when it'll really matter. I want there not to be such a sharp transition over on the face, so we will fix that. Looks better. 
can see it when, it, when they really pinch because you can see like that highlight almost, which we're going to have one on the nose. That's just how it's going to be. Uh, but in terms of, nope, stop. The boob is in the way. Ah, uh, you can come out. Uh, yeah, it's it's so hard to find uh, like reasons to model things, especially when I'm on like my break, because like I'm not really one to just kind of sit around and uh, not do anything, especially when I'm on my break. I want to be like learning or doing something interesting, or just like sitting around playing video games. Uh, although I do do a lot of that still, not not all the time. Uh, and so I was like, okay, what can I do? You know, besides like. I, I I can model like any character and try to do that and learn. That's fine, but it's kind of nice to have a reason for modeling, not just like, oh hey, I can model and maybe put up for sale or something. I reached out to this uh, music, this newer artist that I really like. Uh, yesterday, because they do like some cool music I really like, and they also um do like some three D stuff on their like you know like videos on YouTube and whatever. They're pretty simple, but obviously they have an interest in it and they kind of keep improving them every time. So I reached out to them and I was like, hey, do you want to, I, I kind of, I told them about what I do. I do, I'm like, I do characters and I do hard surface stuff. Like, well, I, I explained it in a way that they would understand in case they didn't know what hard surface was, but um, I'm like, hey, do all this stuff. I really love your visual style. I love learning new things. Would you like to work together and help just like, you know, make your stuff even better better if we can you know maybe make less work for you and do some cooler stuff and so i'm i just messaged them so i'm waiting to hear back but i'm really that'd be pretty cool if we could do that honestly i even do it for free but only because i'm on break and it's just a good i i would be doing stuff for myself anyways that i don't get paid for so i'm not gonna say i'll do it for free in case they do want to charge me but uh you know I think it'd be super fun. And because of that, I've also been experimenting with uh, some doing more like visual things. And you might be interested in this. So like, uh, let me switch over. So like I made like this little like title sc screen for my stream since I've been streaming. Uh, I didn't make a loop. I was too lazy to do that. But I think it looks pretty interesting, you know? And then I also did this really cool, um, which I need to render out and finish, but it took so long to render the first time <laughs> um, that I need to like change up some of the settings. But I did some other cool um, little clips and stuff. The whole like nebula scene with uh like I had like someone like a like a silhouette of a person falling through it and stuff. I have that I rendered out. That's what took forever. But I said the render settings too high. I went to bed. I actually slept for like for like twelve hours. I I woke up, went back down to my computer, and looked at it, and it was like a quarter of the way done. I'm like, hell no, we're not. <laughs> I'm not waiting for all of that. <laughs> so I stopped it. And so it has like a whole like one second of the animation done. Which is funny, but, uh, but yeah, I, I, I rendered out a low quality version of it to test and that looked good. So uh, lots of cool stuff, lots of cool things to learn and do so many things. And what am I doing right now? Wait, I need to stay focused, keep working on on stuff all right what am i doing I'm, I'm fixing the face the face is okay i could keep adjusting it forever i'm gonna stop and instead i am going to um i might call it quits here i've been streaming for like almost an hour and a half we show what we got we 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 messed with the body more got the shape looking a little better she's 
Yeah, always annoying to render. Unfortunately, we have render farm. I should check. My university might up here. We're an engineering university, so we might not. But we might have something for it because we have 3D printers and all that. Um, that that's very very nice. I'm jealous. I could. I wonder. I'm sure that you could pay online and there's a render farm, but it's probably money. I don't know. I have like I have a decent GPU, but again, I guess that's why artists get like uh like dual thirty nineties or whatever, so they can actually like render that stuff out in decent time without render farms or whatever. I know I just need to meet someone like you in real life, like and so then I could just use their access and then render my stuff. That's what I need to do. <laughs> but you know. Anyways, whatever I was saying, I'm done. Make good progress, I think. Um, now that we're done with the head, mostly, we have like the ears and stuff to do. We'll start putting on like eyelashes and eyebrows and hair. Hair is gonna be interesting. The character I'm making, in case you didn't see, is like, uh, oh, none of that stuff. Um, this character here is her. Uh, she's got more round face, so we'll have to like chin and stuff, so we'll have to do that. But yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for uh, watching and tuning in. Cool. Uh, I'll be streaming probably tomorrow again or whatever. Sometime again this week around the same time I started. Uh, 3 p.m. was at AKST, so 4 p.m. Pacific. If you want to tune in again, nice talking to you. Nice meeting you. But I am done. Yes, enjoy your New Year's. Thank you for the evening as well.